um, the Joy FM. Hi, I'm JR. All right, I got to call my wife because this has been bothering me ever since it happened in our kitchen yesterday. But it is also uh, ground, groundbreaking, it really is, in regards to the male female relationship. Hello? Is this my wife? Yes, it's your wife. Okay, you have the same phone number. Leslie's here. I need I needed a a, a a female's perspective from a married standpoint and a, you know... Single. Single standpoint. <laughs> it's okay. Right. No, no. It's okay. You can say that without offending me. Uh, <laughs> all right, so here's what happened um, to my wife. Okay. When you asked me yesterday um, to open that jar of dill pickles, it's a no-brainer that males enjoy the ability to take a jar from when their wife asks for help and to be able to open it and hand it back. I'm, I'm letting you in. It's not that big of a secret. We actually like that. It gives us a sense of, you know, oh, I can do something that you might not be able to do. It gives, it's great. Okay. Okay. That's not a secret, but I've, but it, well, yesterday when that happened, I've been thinking about it nonstop for 24 hours. Seriously? Because something happens to a, to a male in that split second between when you hand the jar when we grab it, and then when we take the top off, and then we hand it back, there is a lot of science that goes into that, and there's a lot of psychology, and and, and it's been in, it's been on my head. I enjoyed that moment so much, but I did something that I've never done before, and you probably did not catch this, but when I opened it, when I handed it back to you, did you notice how I did that? Was there anything weird or quirky about that? I didn't look at you. Okay. <laughs> now hold on. I be, I've narrowed since I've given this a lot of thought. Of the past twenty four hours, I've I've kind of thought about the science of this. I've come up with three different ways that us males, in a split second, decide how we handle handing you back a jar that we have just opened. One, and this is what I've always done, I've been very grateful that you gave me the opportunity, so I hand it back to you saying, here you go, hey, I could do that, and you needed my help, so here you go, hand it back. Uh, there are some that I think might get arrogant about it, and, you know, and joke around like that, that's two. And three, the method I used yesterday. Which was, I'm, I did it subconsciously, so it's not tr like I'm trying to be arrogant or anything, but I, it's such a proud moment for me to open it that I went with the no-look approach like this was so easy for me that I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing over here while doing this favor for you. You seriously think about this all the time? Th this was the no-look approach, and I don't, I don't know how I feel about it, and you didn't even pick up on it, obviously. No. <laughs> it was, okay, I'm sitting here chopping onions. You need my help? Okay, yeah, I'm going to keep looking at the onions <laughs> while at the same time open the jar for you and hand it back without even looking. Now, I didn't think about it. It just happened, but now I've been thinking about it nonstop ever since. I honestly don't even know why I'm telling you all this. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, uh, I don't think uh, she cares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, I was thinking the same thing. Who cares? I got something on the stove. <laughs> You can look at it like you are so in sync with her needs that you are able to handle her jar without even missing a step. See, this woman gets me. <laughs> now, now, let me, ma'am, let me be honest with you. As a, as a husband and father, how I'm allowed to be those things is beyond me um, in, in regards to the chinks in my armor. But one thing that I can manage is that jar. You're God says he sets us up to meet each other's needs and you know, you can handle that need. And I completely agree with you because I just don't have the ability to do the dishes. Uh -huh. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> she wanted it. She's not buying that one. <laughs> Either is my wife. Is it possible to talk to JR about the jar thing? Um, what's what's going on? But he was when JR was talking on the radio about how he is obsessed and he was thinking about how he reacted when his wife had him open the jar. It was so weird because the last um, 48 hours, I've been doing the same thing about my husband, about his reaction when he opened the jar. It was like a water bottle, except I don't. it was a twisty cap.
Yeah. And I gave it to him to open. He just looked at me. Well, he opened it, and then he gave me that arrogant look, and then went proceeded to watch TV. He didn't even open it all the way up. <laughs> For some reason, that just bugged the living dickens out of me. I just kept. <laughs> that. So when I heard Jr. talking about that, this is me, by the way. <laughs> Oh, it is? I, I can't. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. On the phone, you sound so different to how you sound on the radio. I know. It's processing. Hey, uh, so you're saying that he would just just break the seal of the cap but not take the whole thing off? That's correct. That's what he did this time. Okay. If there was that look. <laughs> his was the number two that you mentioned. His was the arrogant look. Ah, uh. Okay. Like, I can't believe you couldn't do that. And the stinker didn't even open the whole the thing stinker. for me. <laughs> See, yes, that's what I meant by the number two. Some people, here you go, honey. Here you go. Let me do this for you. The other one is what her husband does. A water bowl. I'm just going to break the seal. And you know what? You can get the rest of this, can't you? That's, <laughs> that's what her husband's doing. That's the other one. I forgot to expound on it. I'm a no looker. I mean, officially, no. <laughs> you are listening to the Joy FM with your host, JR. Sure, he's a smart boy. A little odd sometimes, but. Afternoons on the Joy FM.